Welcome back, everybody. As you can tell, I am currently loading up the car because it's Matt's birthday weekend. Making sure he's not around. He has no idea, or at least I hope he doesn't know, that we're actually gonna go to Coronado Springs for a two night stay. We're gonna be doing Animal Kingdom on his actual birthday, which is tomorrow, with the special surprise on that day. But he thinks we're gonna go to St. Augustine. This has been a facade I've kept up for a while now. I've had this trip planned for about a month or so, give or take. I'm really hoping that he doesn't know, because I think my Disney experience may have spoiled it for him, but it should be a lot of fun and I'm really excited. So why don't you guys come along? Let's go make some memories together. All right, so we are all checked and we aren't staying in the tower this visit. We are staying out here in the rest of the property. We're staying out here at the Ranchos, which I'm thankful for because that was your favorite part oh, yeah, when we did the room tour here. Favorite. That was So we got pretty lucky with it. I know that is pretty far from everything, but it's a gorgeous area of the resort. Uh, so we're going to go make our way over there and check in for the room. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. Are you doing pillow inspection? Ooh, get it. Yeah, fluff them up, fluff up the pillows. It has to look good. It has to look good. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Oh, yes. Hi, Chip. How are you? It's a very tiny camera. <laughs> Hi, Dale. I didn't forget about you. I didn't forget about you, Dale. <laughs> we just checked in for his birthday weekend. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Tomorrow's the actual birthday though, not today, but we're celebrating early. Yeah, well, it was nice seeing you guys. You guys have a good day. So you asked uh, how long I had been planning this, because we've been talking about St. Augustine for a while now, because yeah. I still want to go at some point. Well, yeah. And I'm very surprised none of this was spoiled for you, because um, my Disney experience was so pushy with its notifications. Oh, I didn't get anything. I only, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I kept getting everything else. Like, no. I swear, if he sees... I only got the reservation for the park day. Okay. Okay. That's what, like, that's the only thing I've gotten. Okay. Yeah, I was very nervous that you would have had the entire thing spoiled for you. So, I'm very glad you had no idea. I did get a great deal from a friend who is a cast member. So, thank you, friend, for giving us a great deal on the room for tonight. Uh, or, I guess, for the next two nights. And... Yeah, we're gonna chill out here at Coronado for, for two nights. So we are back here in the Rancho section of the resort, which like I showed on the map, is pretty far away, but this is an absolute gorgeous section. It's probably my favorite section. I know it was Matt's favorite section when we came and did our tour. I don't know how much of the actual grounds we're gonna be showing on this trip since we are here for a specific stay, but I'll link our video to our entire tour um, in the description and at the cart to the end so you guys can get a look at the full resort Obviously, we'll show you guys whatever we can um, in the meantime. Oh, it's, you know what it is? It's the top of a cactus. Okay, that's kind of what I was thinking yeah. it was, yeah. Yeah, he stole a piece of cactus. So we have 6502, which doesn't have an amazing view, but it does have like a forest view. Mm. Um, over there is going to be like the pathways over to like the Grand uh, Del Lago, I think is what it's called. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll see some wildlife in the morning. It's kind of a nice secluded, area so we're actually using magic mobile for the first time to open our door too we've never done it before we usually use like magic bands or card keys i mean i didn't bring any magic bands on this trip i got you covered though oh, okay. did it work yay yeah. all right coming into the room we had to switch the lights on because it was pretty dim in here but i do love the use of the caballeros mm -hmm. very cute and these are recently refurbished. I don't remember when they did it, but these are different looking than they used to look. Yeah. Uh, we do have two queen beds kind of sprawl out a little bit. They feel pretty plush. You should do a bed check. Yeah, it feels really nice. Yeah. And sit on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, comfortable. Mm -hmm. There's a giant space underneath for your luggage. So you can shove it under there. Got a room, phone. This is all the light switches for all the rooms. And then USB plugs and outlets on both sides of the bed. More Caballeros prints on here. Donald, Jose, and Panchito. Bible, what's in here? Oh, the safe, the safe's in here. Okay, got you a safe. Ice bucket with the cups. I don't know where the ice bucket is, we'll have to find that later. We actually have a Keurig, which is not normal for moderates from what I understand. 
Oh, we got a beverage cooler. So yeah, not cold enough to keep things um, like food cold, but we obviously brought some drinks and some stuff with us. Maybe a couple snacks we can put in there to keep them chilled. Long desk area. I like this lamp. That's really nice. More plugs and stuff. Drawers, which we won't be using since we're only here for two nights, but nice little drawers. Do they have like a little closing yeah. feature on them? Yeah. Kind of, sort of. Okay. We've got a trash can with recycling. Love recycling. We've got the double doors for the restroom and like shower area. Ooh, I really like this. Yeah. That fan turned on automatically when you turned it on? How, how did that turn on? Yeah, I don't Well, the fan is on. We might have to keep an eye on that, make sure that's not running all night. But yeah, we've got double sinks here. These are very nice. I really like these sinks. Oh, they, I've never seen mouthwash either. Oh. So I guess we didn't need to bring it. Yeah. But yeah, we have mouthwash now. Mm -hmm. Mirror with the full wraparound light. Ooh, that's very zoomed in. Hello. Got a little mirror there. So storage and stuff for like towels. Mm. Yeah. Tissues. There's some under storage here. There's quite a bit of storage in this room. A hair dryer in there. Is there anything under that one over there? No. Nothing. Okay. Well, it's, it's just extra storage. And then this is also storage. Extra pillow and blanket. All the hangers you could ever need. Here we have our shower. We do have a tub in ours with a sh uh, rainfall head. Very nice. We got a removable head right there as well. And because we're not staying in the deluxe, we do have the pumps on the wall, which I think I actually like better. I like that there's more here, so I don't feel like I'm having to skimp on well, what I have. Not only that, but it's also better for the environment. That's true. It's it's a lot less plastic waste, and I'm totally fine with that. Mm -hmm. And then we've got standard toilet here. And I do like these doors. I like the like little yeah. scratchy, scratchy glass feel on them. But then we also have this for your swimsuits, which we did bring our swimsuits. It's a little cloudy up today and it was uh, almost gonna rain up by our house. So I don't know if we're gonna get much swimming in, but I do wanna maybe go down the slide at some point just to oh, say I did it. Aztec one. Yeah, the cool Aztec slide. But yeah, that is kind of our room. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but honestly, I think it's totally fine. It's, it's very cozy. What do you think of the room? It's nice. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad to be staying here. All right, we are making our way over to El Centro, which is the main area for food and go to the gift shop. There's also a convention happening at the resort mm -hmm. right now because this is a big convention resort and it's a Girl Scout convention, which I actually knew that coming in. And I was thinking, maybe we can wrangle up some, some Girl Scout cookies while we're here, get some Thin Mints, put those in the fridge. Yeah, we are pretty far back. This right here is the lake and then that is three bridges bar and grill so we are trying to get across the lake which we could either take this pathway and cross that bridge or over here by i think this was the butterfly garden yeah, wasn't it yeah were. butterfly garden and then oh yeah, yeah here's a map yeah so we are right here our room is our room is like right here yeah actually like right here yeah it's like right there so we we've, we've, we've got a nice view of this little forest thicket mm -hmm. so there's the restaurant i mentioned three bridges and then that's grand Asino, and that's where we need to get for uh food gift shop convention center which is up there all that stuff so i personally don't think this resort is that big that's one of the biggest complaints about this resort is that it's huge it is big if you take the lap it's big it is big if you take the lap because the bridges and the restaurant in the middle of the lake were built i believe in 2019 when grand Asino opened mm -hmm. so before that i could see the complaints but when, yeah. when we did our resort tour i was totally fine with walking around this entire loop we also walk a lot though. We do walk a lot. We're also really close to the dig site, which is the main big pool, the big Aztec pool. So that's really nice if we do end up wanting to go there. Like the weather's not bad today. Today might actually be a good time to go do it since it's not overcast, it's not super sunny. Mm -hmm. Just throw on our swimsuit real quick and go do it. Yeah. Through the trees here, you can kind of make out the top of the temple pyramid for the pool. We're not gonna go there right now, but we are gonna cross this bridge and go eat. There's a shot of Grand Asino Tower as well. Here is Three Bridges Bar and Grill at Via Del Lago. They have very strange hours, which we found out on our tour, is that a lot of the things will open until dinner time. So this is a dinner only restaurant. I've said before that I can't imagine navigating this resort without these bridges, because this is so convenient. 
I feel like we've been walking for maybe three or four minutes and we're already almost there. So we're here in the gift shop and they have one of these random pin, like randomizer things. You said 18? Because mm -hmm. tomorrow's your birthday? Yeah. 18? Okay. It's like a Magic Band slider or is it just like a little smartphone? I think it's like the, for the, the Magic Band, like the... Mm, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's do 19 as well because 19 is my birthday. Not this 19th, but another 19. Oh, okay. it's it's a little roasty toasty. Oh yeah. I might actually trade for that really? one. I think that's a good one. Yeah. yeah, this was a really cool find. I don't think I've ever seen this collection before. Mm -mm. I'm sure it's exclusive to Disneyland because Dis Disneyland has all the roasty toasties. Yeah. If you guys aren't familiar, these are the little like animated characters they put in there that turn this little thing of popcorn on the side. A lot of the Disneyland popcorn carts have these. Uh, they have like a Yeti. I think they have a Spaceman. And outside of Mansion. I believe it's out, outside Mansion. They have Oogie Boogie, so that was a cool find. They also have an entire table of exclusive merchandise here when you first walk in. I don't know if we're gonna buy most of it, and I was gonna buy the pin, but they're sold out. What'd you find? Magnet. Oh, that is cute. It's really pretty. I hate that it's of, of the tower, though, because we're not staying in the I tower. Know, but it is does just say Coronado Spring. That's true. I'm super bummed about the pin. Yeah. Like, because my goal is to get a pin for every resort we stay in, and I'm bummed that they don't have it. But we obviously live here. I can swing by whenever I want. Or I, I've seen it like Disney Springs. Oh, I've seen true. it. Yeah, we've seen it multiple places. So like, it's not as special as not getting it here, but that's okay. And it could come in stock tomorrow or the next day. Possibly, because we are here on a Monday, so we have Tuesday, Wednesday as well. So we'll just take care every day before we leave. And if we get it, we get it. If we don't, I can get it some other time. Mm -hmm. It's okay. And they also have some stuff for Via Del Lago, which is the Three Bridges Bar and Grill restaurant. And they've got some nice Tommy Bahama polos for the resort. And they've got a nice bag. I think this is more of the same. Oh, no, this is pretty. Yeah, with Grandis, you know, they kind of went for a more, like, uh, Spanish architecture style as opposed to, like, the Mexican, which is the rest of the resort. Here's a nice little quarter zip. Too warm for that here, but if you guys are tourists, it's a really nice zip up. There's also no shortage of cocoa themed merchandise here. They also have some Encanto stuff against the wall, not Mexico, Colombia, different country, different continent, but people often lump them together for some reason, so it's over there in that corner. Now, no pin, but I did get this Toy Story Summer Magic Band for like, what, 26 bucks? Yeah, 26. Shockingly cheap. Yeah. What's it, like originally 55. Yeah, something around there. And it's 30% off plus my annual pass discount. So 26 bucks for this. It's, it's my first Magic Band Plus. Yeah, it is. I joined the club, hooray! Yeah. So we're gonna come here into El Mercado so we can find any bites. We've been over here to Rick's Sports Bar during our tour and got the Watchos. Those were stellar. Were so good. Those were so good. So a lot of the options here are already ready to go. Like we've got bowls here. I think of like Nashville hot mac and cheese and like some penne pasta with some meatballs. This isn't really normal to see for resorts. They usually have to, it's like ordered or like made, made to order, but there's some, I think, sesame chicken and broccoli. They got some sandwiches and some burgers up there with some chicken tendies. I want some Mexican food though. It's like a chicken rice bowl and a barbacoa beef rice bowl and some nachos. And they do have a little cooler over here that has toppings for stuff because I love toppings on my Mexican food. Like the more toppings, the better. Is there sparkles on there? It might just be sparkly sprinkles. Yeah. They've got like a nice like swirl on those cupcakes. Really pretty too. Yeah, they are pretty. Like a flower. Uh-huh. There's also an entire like cooler system of like salads and sandwiches, some wraps and yogurts. Here's some of those resort mugs. This is just like, one of the designs they have. It is really cute. It's like a bunch of Pixar friends, I think. Wow, they actually have a reference to the good dinosaur. That's very strange. Uh, but these are $22.99, sorry, $21.99 for the entire length of our stay. So they're only usable here at the resorts. You can't take them in the parks and use them. Well, you can use them, but you can't get refills in the parks. But that's pretty pricey for only a two night stay. Even if we just like split it and we just get one, that's still pretty expensive for just soda. I ended up going with some nachos, which you get a surprising amount for as much as it costs. The cheese looks really good too. I know the cheese does look good. I'm gonna wait to do a, a cinematic cheese pour with it. And you got a Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Is it good? Yeah, it, it's a little thin of a chicken, but. Mm. Those are actually pretty good. They're very limey, I put a lot of lime on it. I've been dipping it in the ranch because it's a little dry. Mm. That's not bad. 
I like it. Good luck getting an actual nacho bite because they fall apart really easily. You want my cheese? Checking the recreation board for the month of July. I don't know what all we've missed because it is five o'clock in the afternoon, so we may have already missed quite a bit of this. But we wanted to see when the movies were. So those are at 8.30, so kind of late. But today is Finding Dory, the campfire from 6.30 to 7.30, so about an hour and a half. Because we're gonna get up early for Animal Kingdom, we might have to just wait for tomorrow night maybe to do some recreation stuff, just so we're up bright and early. Here is the QR code. You guys can scan that for all of July's activities. Um, yeah, it looks like some fun stuff. Come in here to Laguna Bar to grab an after dinner drink. They've got a handful of bites here, like loaded nachos and like a turkey club. They've also got some specialty beverages. I don't see the one that you wanted to get, but I would assume they can still make it. We were talking to the bartender and this is the most current up-to-date menu, not the one in the app for an odd reason. So she, she can still make us the drink that we want, which is a different version of this bounce back. Do you wanna get the cotton candy cheesecake too? You wanna try that? I can. Yeah. So this was the rebounder, mm -hmm. rebounder, and it was light rum, guava, and lime. Mm. It looks really pretty. It does look really pretty. Watching her pour the like guava juice or guava concentrate from like the little thing was kind of satisfying because it was like a nice okay. like. I missed all of it. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. It was kind of like like a thicker consistency. Oh. It just looked really good. It looks really yeah. syrupy in like a good way. Mm. And this is on the cheaper end too. It was only 12 bucks for this. Yeah. I say cheap, it's Disney. So that's still expensive. Because was it 12 or 14? It should have been only 12 unless okay. the app is that outdated that the pricing was different. We didn't get the receipt. Oh, that is nice. Mm -hmm. That's pretty strong too. Yeah. And it's not pre-made either. She actually made it in front of us. Yeah. I'm a big supporter of not getting pre-mixed drinks. Because mm -hmm. uh, I always feel like I get skimped. Yeah. But that is pretty nice. The weather also kind of turned around a little bit. It's still a little bit overcast, but there's a nice breeze rolling through. And I'm kind of glad it's not really sunny, just so it's not like beating down on us as we're walking around. It's been a pretty nice afternoon so far. We got mm -hmm. our cheesecake cotton candy flavor. I do love the colors. Mm -hmm. It is funny though because she because I was like it's ten dollars because it it is ten dollars and I was like is it like smaller is it like big and she's like oh it's big enough it's like enough for two people and I was like maybe two different people. A little whipped cream, not the whole whipped cream. That's good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it like super cotton candy? Cotton candy e? Not really. I'm not sure how much you'll like it. Okay. Because cotton candy is one of my flavor palettes. I oh, love yeah. childlike flavors, bubble gum, fruit pebbles, It definitely has that like, cream to it too. Okay. From like the cream cheese. I should really like that. Really? Because mm -hmm. my biggest issue, I don't normally like cheesecake, yeah. is that it tastes sour to me. I was gonna say it doesn't have that sour at all. It doesn't have that sour at all. And I think it's just normal cheesecake. I think just normal, regular cheesecake. Has that. Is okay. what I don't like. But no, this is good. I like this a lot. I would get this again. Uh, maybe not again because it's expensive, but like... Yeah. You could buy a whole cheesecake for $10. You could buy two whole cheesecake for $10. Well, but we're on vacation. Yeah. I'm fine with it. I will say, even though there's a convention happening, I'm not really feeling the extra guests around me. Like, it's obviously busy in some areas because they're. I think they're all checking in today. Mm -hmm. But I mean, this is such a quiet resort. And I kind of feel like we're the only ones around at times. Like, I know we're not. But like right now, it's like just us. There's like nobody. It's really nice. Ah! Oh, I love this. This is cool. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Oh my gosh, I wish there was like a bar here to grab onto. <laughs> I hit my head. Okay, we're fine. Ow, that hurt though. <laughs> Did you see me do that? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Came over here to the pool to do some marshmallow roasting and it was free, it was a free activity. We actually got more marshmallows than I thought we were gonna get. I thought maybe it was gonna be like maybe one each. But you know, we, we got a little baggie. You could purchase a kit for $7. Uh, we said not to, we're just gonna do the marshmallows. Did mine in the fire a little bit. 
That's toasty. Mm. We haven't roasted marshmallows in a long time. Yeah, I think since Colorado. Yeah, probably since Colorado. Those are nice and light. Mm. You want to do a little bit more? Maybe a little bit. More. Yeah. It's a good toasting. Mm -hmm. Disney marshmallows hit different. More in line of the Oof. line of the smoke. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of want to buy the kit just because like FOMO is setting in, but like I know no. we don't need it. No. And they were roommates. <laughs> oh my god, they were roommates. It's very helpful. <laughs> She's starting the fire with like a like a little vacuum kind of. That's cool. That works really well. That like instantly started back up. You're a magician. My best friend. <laughs> Everyone says I'm cheating when I do that, but nah. Anything work smart. That makes your yeah. life better. Work smart, not hard. Exactly. Yeah, we're doing a little staycation. Tomorrow's his birthday, mm. so we. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. Here's a little s'mores kit you can get with the little Mickey. That's so cute. It's a fun little free activity to go do. I always thought you had to pay for it in general. And I'm glad we got more than just like a singular marshmallow. We each yeah. got what three? I think it was a, yes, a, a bag of six. Yeah, because I saw the little like bags up there, and I was like, oh, well, you know, that's for the people who paid. And Hannah was just like, okay. Also met a very nice cast member. I didn't catch her name. Oh, I feel yeah. bad. Yeah, I don't remember. Anything. But she was very nice. Talked to us about her living here and like us living here and the little staycation we're the going resort. on, the resort. Yes. So it's always nice to talk to cast members. Here's the backslide, or the backslide. Here's the backside of the slide that I really want to go on. I don't know if we're going to do this tonight, but it looks really cool. And I like the Jaguar yeah. that's at the very top. I'm getting ready to pounce on people. You can see people coming down, kind of. Oh, yep, yeah, there goes somebody. Also, the marshmallow roasting was here in the pool area. It's back in that corner. You guys can see the smoke from back there. The map had it over in Casitas, which is way on the other side of the property. So I wonder if it used to be there and that that just didn't work out. So now it's over here. But yeah, it was over here. It's a few hours later and we are back in the hotel room. We are getting ready for bed because got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. But I wanted to point out something that I noticed in the shower. So the first thing, this is an automatic fan. I don't know why it's a thing, but like you can toggle it, but it turned on again for us earlier. I just don't know why it's automatic, but that's a thing. And then we also notice that this shower head can swivel, which is really nice. So I can kind of stand at an angle and still get the water. And I forgot that the H2O brand, uh, the sea salt is the same one they use on the cruise ship. So I love that. It was very nostalgic smelling to me. It does make me wonder what they're gonna do when these do run out because the contract for them was not renewed. So we're supposed to be getting something new at some point. I just don't know what yet, but we still have these. And this was kind of a fun thing to figure out because I couldn't figure out how to close the door because like this door obviously closed. I mean, I can grab it like that, but it closes to separate the toilet from the rest of the bathroom. But this little button right here pops a little handle and then you can kind of pull it. Just nice little little detail right there. And something to also keep in mind for the bathroom is these do close. However, they don't close all the way. So early morning might be an issue with, like if maybe he gets up earlier than me or vice versa, that like this light may stream through. So kind of keep that in mind, I guess, when getting ready. And final thing I noticed is this little reading light here. Cute little thing you can, oh, that's bright, sorry. Cute little thing you can bring out. I think there's, yeah, there's one on each side. So we've got four total. Ugh. Yeah, we are getting ready for bed since we have to be up kind of early tomorrow. We're gonna try and take advantage of early entry at Animal Kingdom, which is at 7.30. Mm -hmm. And breakfast starts at seven at the quick service. We gotta wake up kind of early, make sure we at least get that. And then uh, just have a fun Animal Kingdom day. What do you think of the uh, room so far? I guess the resort. It's been nice. I mean, obviously, we, we know what we were getting when we came here. Yeah. Since we did the tour. Yeah, well, we didn't get to tour the room. Well, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the, the rooms are nice. Uh, yeah, that kind of wraps up day one, episode one, part one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is going to be three parts, because we check out on Wednesday, the day after your birthday. So I don't know if we're going to actually do anything that day. But you'll at least see us tomorrow. Well, our tomorrow. Um, we're at Animal Kingdom. 
So thank you guys so much for coming along. Hope you guys had a wonderful time with us. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you guys like our video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell so you guys get updates on all of our future adventures. And as always, thanks for making memories with us. We'll see you next time. Thank you.